Hello friends, this video on applications of trigonometry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's take one example. Two poles of equal height are standing opposite to each other on either side of the road, which are 80 meter wide. So this is a road which is 80 meter wide and there are two poles standing on the opposite side of the road. From a point between them on the road, the angle of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 and 30 degrees respectively. Find the, height, find the height of the pole and the distance of the point from the pole. So let's take any point, this point let's suppose. And from here the angle of elevation is 1 is 60 degree and the other is 30 degree. We have to find the height of the pole and we have to also find the distance of this point from the poles. This is my triangle now, this is my triangle. So I will say this triangle, so I have two triangle ABC and CD, correct. And since the height of the tower is same, so I assume both the height is K, some K. Now since 30 is my frame of reference, this side is perpendicular and this side is base. I am looking for these two sides only. So let me assume this is distance D1 and this is distance D2 where D1 plus D2 is nothing but the distance between the road that is distance between two poles that is 80 meter. So let me find D1 and D2 in terms of k and then that is equal to 80 you can find the value of k. Good approach. This is D1, this is D2. I know D1 plus D2 is equal to 80. So I can find D1 and D2 both in terms of k and then I can find the value of k using this equation. So in this triangle ABC, I will say, in triangle ABC, if you see, if C is the frame of reference angle, this is perpendicular and this is base. So again, Pandit Badri Prashad, Hare Hare Bodh, P by B in this form, tan, so we will use tan, so we will say tan 30 degree is equal to P by B, P here is AB. And B here is BC. So this is K by D1. And that is tan 30, that is 1 by root 3. So I can say that D1 is equal to K root 3. Similarly, the other triangle in triangle ADC, similar approach, same thing. Here also we use tan only because P and B is involved. So let's say tan 60 degree is equal to P by B. Here P is equal to DE and B is equal to CD here. So this becomes K by D2 and this is nothing but tan 60 that is root 3. So I will get D2 is equal to K by root 3. So I got D1 and D2. I know D1 plus D2 is equal to 60. Sorry, 80. So I can say that K root 3 plus k by root 3 is equal to 80. Correct. So I'll take k here root 3 plus 1 by root 3 is equal to 80. So we'll solve this. This becomes k into root 3 into root 3 is 3 plus 1 4. 4 by root 3 is equal to 80 or I get k is equal to 80 root 3 by 4 that is 20 root 3. So my height of the tower or height of the pole is 20 root 3 that I have formed. Correct? So height of the pole is 20 root 3 that is formed. Now I have to find the distance of the point from the pole. I can use any of the equation here actually. So if you see d1 is equal to k root 3 and d2 is equal to k by root 3. Correct? So I'll say d1 is equal to k root 3, k is k root 3, that is nothing but 20 root 3 into root 3, that is 60 and d2 is nothing but k by root 3, that is 20 root 3 by root 3, cancel, that is 20. So this distance is 60, sorry, this is 60 and this is 20, correct? So distance of the point from the poles are 20 and 60 meter respectively. Very simple, we have this road, we have this uh, poles, we have got these two uh, triangles, 
we assume the height to be kk we found the value of k and then found the value of distance the question says from the top of a 7 meter high building the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree we have to find the height of the tower this is the scenario we have a building that is 7 meter high this is 7 meter high correct the angle of elevation from this point from the top of the building to so this point the angle of elevation is 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree why because we always take angle with the horizontal line and the angle of depression is 45 degree this angle is 45 degree why because here also this angle we take with the horizontal lines correct we have to find the height of the top let's draw the triangle this is the triangle now this height is 7 meter given so this height if you see is equal to this height let me give the name here a b c and d let's suppose so b c will be 7 correct because the building is 7 now we define the height of the tower the whole thing let me assume this is x total height of the tower will be 7 plus x so what we can do here if you see there is a side common same thing in this triangle in triangle bcd we'll find the value of bd and then in this triangle since we have known the angle this 60 degree we know the side this we can get the value of x very simple so if you see in tan in this triangle bdc if this is the angle frame of reference this is hypotenuse this is base and this is perpendicular so i'm trying to draw a relation between perpendicular and base pandit badri pashal hare hare bol so p and b is tan so we'll use tan here so we'll say in triangle b c d tan 45 degree is equal to p by b p was here b c and b here was b d correct this is equal to 7 by b d and tan 45 is 1 we know so we'll get bd is equal to 7 this is 7 we have got now we will take this other triangle a b d so we will say in triangle a b d here also since this is the frame of reference 60 degree so this side becomes hypotenuse this becomes perpendicular and this becomes base so we draw a relation between perpendicular and base perpendicular base again tan theta so i will use tan 60 degree is equal to p by b and p here is x and b here is sorry p here is ab and b here is bd and ab is x here and bd is 7 here correct and tan 60 is nothing but root 3 you know tan 60 is root 3 so in solve this equation what we get is x is equal to 7 root Correct? This two is all you get x equal to 7 root 3. So we got x equal to 7 root 3. The height of the tower, you know, height of tower is nothing but the whole AC and AC is nothing but AB plus BC. What is AB? AB we have found x and that is 7 root 3 and BC we know is 7 plus 7. That is 7 into root 3 plus 1. The unit will be here meter because here is meter. This is meter. So height of the tower is 7 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Very simple. Two triangles found a common side. Good. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.